Hello YouTube and welcome and today I brought you this it's a small leather good from Louis Vuitton and um, I just treated myself to um, Clement's wallet in future uh, this wallet cost 300 pounds here in the UK. I'm not sure about the Louis Vuitton price increases if it's going to be increased anytime soon. So I will just show you the proof of purchase over there. And in this video, I'm really going to try and concentrate on showing you the wallet so you're not going to be seeing most of me. And I'm going to try and show you a close up so you can have an idea of exactly how the wallet looks like in quality and in everything. I got this at the Louis Vuitton Selfridge store in Manchester. I'll just remove the receipt there and just try and show you the prices. We'll just close where my um, address is as well, where you can see it. Um, I was in there in 10 minutes flat. I had done all my research here on YouTube and I knew exactly what I wanted. So I didn't waste much time uh, looking about or having a choice. All I needed were the colors uh, that I wanted and I had a look at them. Initially, I wanted the Grenade, but after I saw the Grenade and the Fuchsia together, I decided on the Fuchsia because I thought the Grenade would get dirty quickly and I thought the Grenade would look more, probably more like the, fu the, the Grenade that comes in the multicolor noir uh, small leather goods, but I didn't see it. I when I compared it, I didn't think or I didn't feel that it was the same um, pink, so I decided to go with the fuchsia. So it came in this beautiful box, which I was very lucky to get because usually when I buy online, I never get um, this uh, leather cord over here that you can see. Glossy string box, so you open it like that. I'm sure you all know how to open these boxes. It's been done over and over again, but I just thought I'd show you. And that's the um, dust bag I've opened. And I will take bring out the wallet. So there it is. As I said, I'm going to concentrate on showing you close up what this wallet looks like rather than me, you people seeing my face. I hope you appreciate this more than seeing me. There's nothing interesting about seeing me. <laughs> you probably want to see the wallet more than you want to see me. And again, the beautiful zip that Louis Vuitton provide. Pool tab that I've had people complain about that they don't like it because it's a leather one. I cannot comment on it yet because um, um, I haven't used it, so I couldn't tell you much. And see if I can focus this a bit more. Um, the usual pieces that come with Louis Vuitton. Now this is how it opens up from afar. There is the gusset there, I hope you can see it nice and clear. That's the fuchsia interior. The middle compartment. Where you can put your coins in. It comes with four card slots on each side. And a place where you can put your knots in, your money in. Those are the four card slots on each side and that's exactly the color that you get with this wallet exactly what you see over there because before when I was trying to film you couldn't see the color properly so I decided to film during daylight so you can get the idea of the color I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see where it says made in Spain there I'm sorry I'm back now. That was my phone that rang I had to pick up. It was my auntie on the phone telling me off for not calling and going to see her in London. So um, the one thing that really uh, tickled my fancy on this wallet is my iPhone uh, 6 Plus fits 
perfectly fine and I've tried this when I had cards eight cards in the wallet and a few coins I was really surprised that it fits however I'm not going to use I'm not going to put coins in the wallet I'm just going to be using it to carry my phone and my cards I hope you can see it nicely there so another review to follow with regards to um, how this wallet fares out in the long run so another exciting little purchase I made this one was not brand new uh, this one I just received today in this brown bag and I got it on eBay and yes you've guessed it it's another Louis Vuitton item. Ta -da! I'm so excited about this. I was really worried that I was going to buy something that is not real, but I did my research and as you can see, there's not much difference between the two. And I made sure that um, everything, I knew everything there was to know about the item I was going to purchase, the seller, the reviews, how many um, designer items that they've sold before and I ended up getting this uh, PM agenda from them and it's in absolutely excellent condition. Three card slots there. The girl who sold it is made in Spain. The girl who sold it for me threw in uh, these few uh, things inside. It's just uh, not some not paper. Again, from Louis Vuitton. And two address books. She just gave me the other one. She said in case I'll ever need it. That was really nice of her and what else came in here the ruler if you can see it there and the page just some things that you would have to pay extra money to get in louis vuitton she just threw threw in for me for free which was i thought was really really some stickers here really really nice of her and um, I will use it and then I will get back to you guys um, to show you, to, to review for you, um, you know, how I'm getting on with this. But so far, so good. I'm absolutely loving it. And I am hoping to go and get my um, name hot stamped on here I think I'm going to get it hot stamped in um, gold uh, what do you think um, yes I'm so excited about the purchase I got it at a good price but the only advice I'm going to give to other people who are going to be thinking about going to buy a small leather good uh, uh, pre-loved I would say do your research so uh, go online find reviews about the person you're going to buy for get a feel of the person email them do they reply if they reply do they sound genuine are they too eager to sell all those things you know there are hints and tips that give away a person's character so i would say do your research and usually go with your gut instinct you won't be far wrong um, and also you have other people that can authenticate items for you online i'll write uh, some links below of uh, some of the website of people that can help you to authenticate items if you're not a seasoned um if you're not accustomed to looking at things and knowing what's fake and what's not uh, thank you so much for watching this and uh, i'll see you soon